what if you could drive top Cadillac cars but never own one? It's the Netflix model and it's coming to the auto sector. I'm joined now by Cadillac's chief marketing officer, Uwe Ellinghaus. It's great to see you here. So for $1,500 a month, I can get access to a host of top Cadillac cars and never own them. You can, indeed. You never own them, you don't have to lease them, you don't have to finance them. And you have access to the beauty behind us, the CT6, our top of the range sedan, the iconic V-series, CTSV and ATSV, and of course, not to forget, the Escalade as the well. The Escalade. So if I'm going on a longer trip that requires an SUV, or I'm just going to pick up some groceries in a sedan, it gives you a lot of flexibility. It does indeed. And it's entirely catering about your individual demands. Whatever car you want and when you want it, we will deliver, when you need it, we will deliver it. We will pick it up. We will insure it. Mm. Um, we will certainly make sure it's always clean and up to your expectations. It's white glove pickup and delivery through and through. And folks, this is the, the most important part, that for $1,500, that includes the car, insurance, maintenance, maintenance everything. The list right? goes on. And not six hours of waiting time to register it and all the other things that time pressured people like you and me simply do not need any longer. Is this how you view the future of the auto sector, that you know millennials, younger people, aren't going to want to buy cars anymore? They're just going to want to do this Netflix model? Uh, and that's a very good question. Let me put it this way. No age group as, as homogeneous mm. as it is often portrayed in the media. So even among millennials or my generation, Generation X, we will have a variety of, let's say, access models to cars. Some people still want to buy, some people want to lease, some people want to finance. But it's definitely true that particularly younger luxury customers in urban areas like New York say, maybe it doesn't make sense that I either buy, lease or finance a car when the car is sitting in a garage 94% of the time uh, and maybe 6% is the time that I really use it. And in this regard, yes, I do expect new ownership or access models, as I should say, um, to become far, far more popular. Uwe Ellinghaus, Chief Marketing Officer at Cadillac, thank you so much. Thank you.